We're going to look at the gemologist and jeweler's dichroscope used to test coloured gemstones. They're very simple to use, it's easy with just a little practice to see and interpret a result and basically you have only three possible outcomes from the test. It will allow you to identify if a gem is one non pleochroic two dichroic or three trichroic. The dichroscope is used to detect and if present view pleochroism in gemstones. Pleochroism if present in a gemstone is a colour or subtle shade of colour variation when the gemstone is viewed in different directions using the same light source. There are a few materials where it is easily visible with the naked eye. You rotate the gem and it changes colour or shade of colour. But with most materials the unaided human eye cannot easily detect it. So we use the dichroscope to test gemstones for it. By itself it's a simple test that can be used to distinguish one gemstone from another. And when used in conjunction with a series of other simple tests it will aid in the identification of a gemstone. There are two types of dichroscope available. The calcite dichroscopes like this one. and polarizing dichroscopes like this one. Using either of them is simple. You simply take a gemstone, put a good white light source behind it and then look at the gemstone through the dichroscope. With the calcite type you hold it right up as close as you can to the gemstone and look through this end. With the polarizing type you can see a visible line across the center of the filter. You need to keep this line in the center of the gem as any color differences will be detected on either side of this line. Whichever dichroscope you're using, you slowly rotate it through at least 180 degrees observing the colour of the gemstone. One of three things will happen. The colours you see will remain the same, meaning the gemstone is non pleochroic Two, you will see a maximum of two colour variations, which means the gem is dichroic. Or three, you will see a maximum of three different colours, that's three in total. You'll only see two at a time, but one will change at different angles, giving three colours in total, which means the gem is trichroic. If present, the pleochroism, or colour difference, can vary from distinct to weak, not only in different materials, but also in different specimens of the same material. So examples are just a guide. You need to do the test holding the gemstone at different angles and repeat the rotation of it observing the colour. You need to check the gemstone at different angles because gems that display two colours will, held in one certain angle, only show one colour. And the gems that can display three colours will only display two at any one time. So the angle needs to be changed to see the third. So by changing the angle of rotation you're ensuring you have seen the maximum amount of colour variations possible and not accidentally the least amount. By looking at it at different angles, I mean if it's a cut gem like this one, you would look at it with it table down. Then maybe resting on its pavilion facets or even its crown facets. And then through its girdle. If it's a crystal or cabochon, then you need to imagine where those angles would be, so you can observe it in the different directions. So a dichroscope alone will not conclusively tell you what a gemstone is, but it will tell you identifying and distinguishing properties. So it can be used to simply and rapidly separate similar looking coloured gemstones, or can be used in conjunction with other portable equipment in a series of tests to support identification. We'll show you some examples using different gemstones. We'll do it in a way so hopefully the camera can focus on what we're trying to show you rather than the method we showed you earlier. In practice this works a lot better when we switch this light on but the camera just can't focus with the light on so I'd have to demonstrate this without it. 
So I've picked out some gemstones that exhibit strong pleochorism that hopefully the camera can make out. This is tanzanite. And you'll see it goes from purple to pale blue. Now in theory, textbooks will tell you this is trichroic and will display three colours. Most of the cut tanzanite we see is heat treated to remove the yellow, which makes it dichroic and you only see two colours. This is an aquamarine. So you make out pale blue and almost clear. This is a pink sapphire. This goes from a light shade of pink to a dark shade of red. <laughs> 